pretty happy to the game. I'm playing Thumb TF2. Matt and Billy aren't here. It's just me this time. Playing on Head of Gold Rush. Um, I'm gonna play. I don't know which class, but I'll play Scout first. And then I'll. Uh, I, like, I'll, I'll probably just do like a cycle format. I'll just go to the next class whenever I die, and then end it like the end of the round or something. We've got a setup. We've got a decent team. The spies and soldiers. Looks like we've got quite good offense. And we've also got a medic, which is good. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good team. I think I'm the only, yeah, I'm the only scout, but not sure what other class we could do with. I guess we could do with another medic, so mm, I'm going to do a cycle format, so I, I, I won't choose what class I have. Uh, oh, okay, that's really heavy. Ow, and that's a painful rocket. Not going too great yet. <laughs> Just keep running back and forth shooting people once. Okay. What? Teams have been auto balanced. Oh, okay. Okay. AFK people. Oh no, that goes away. I don't know why I have this particular loadout. But can't hurt. I guess I'd take 10% more damage. Uh, don't don't 10% 10 more bullet damage because of the pain train, so it might not be great against scouts, but it also caps points faster, which I won't need, but it might be handy more on offense. Like, well, designed for offense. I've got regular stock rocket launcher, nothing extremely special. <laughs> Suicide bombed. Okay, I've got this interesting mock-up of a pyro loadout, which is Signaster. I think I pronounced that right. Which builds up uh, mm -hmm. and with that um, when you taunt, when it's a full, you get fully healed and you get crits for a few seconds. I've also got the flare gun which crits people who are already on fire and I've got the home wrecker which removes sappers and does more damage to buildings. Uh, that's fine. Oh, and that's a soldier. And uh, the Flignator, interestingly enough, does not just count damage done by the by itself, but also any fire damage done. So you can deal fire damage with the flare gun and still get... Hmm. And I could use this now to fully heal myself, but I should have. <laughs> I still burnt some people. And the attic up here is a very important place to control the attic. You generally win the game. Not always, but it's just a general thing that you should try and control the attic with an engineer. On If you're on offensive or defensive. Um, the problem is, once you've lost the attic, it can be difficult to get back. Um, okay, I forgot to change class. I'll do that now. Um, demo man, I'm just playing regular stock items except for the Scottish Antic, which is the same as Potter, just retextured. Um, like a lot of items in game, for example, the extinguisher and the postal pummeler. And I've. We, okay, we can. Okay. Next round starting, I'll be a demo man. Uh, I might do tutorials of specific weapons. Thought that was quite interesting thing to do. Uh, okay. It's always good to have a medic on defensive as well as an engineer. It sometimes is even better on these maps to take control of the attic first, but you can't do that until the first point is capped on this map. So it's ideal for an engineer to fully build up a sentry and be ready to run around this corner here and go in through this door 
to get to the attic because that's quite an important place for spies and soldiers and snipers to get through to your base on offensive so if you can take care of that with the sentry then nothing can get through because snipers who have that point also spies can easily get right to your base and anything that shoots bullets at a long distance or, or soldiers with their rockets can be very deadly but a lot of glass can be deadly like that but not particularly scout or um, demo man not great but long distance glasses for example seconds. medics with the crusaders crossbow it's another one that can be deadly it's probably Four, placing stickies three, two, one. Now just run away. I play generally play demo man, but if I have the right items, I will play demo knight. With generally the hopscotch is my favourite. The uh, hopscotch is my favourite sword, the demo man or demo knight. Um, but demo men are better at killing more people if you can time thing time your attack correctly. You can also I could play more offensively, but. And I'll only do that once I've used my stickies to ensure that they actually kill someone. Um, this is a great place for snipers at the beginning of the round, or demo men actually, because um, they can come out of this exit here, and stickies can easily go around this doorway. Have you seen? Oh, thank you, that was sentries. Ow, I hurt myself. Um, there's a spy somewhere. Spy hog. Where is it? Ow. I think it's a... I don't know if I have still had Sticky's place. I'm just hiding. Oh golly! Run away! <laughs> okay, not great at Demon Man. Heavy. I'm playing with the regular uh, minigun. I'm not entirely sure what secondary is. I don't know if I'm, I think I might have all stock actually. Items, which isn't necessarily bad. I might actually change my own. Um, Tommy Slav is better, it's quite good. Since you can be slightly sneaky. Not well. I have some different options. Tommy Slav is silent. But I believe. What downside does it have again? Um. The enemy has received it's 20% slow firing speed, so generally it will do less damage, and that's the downside to it. But it can also be better. I, I hope nobody sees me. <laughs> that was very wishful thing. <laughs> I was trying to run it around to the attic. Now I'm playing engineer. Bit late start for an engine, but it can still be good. Um, I'm not entirely sure what weapons I'm using. Someone's got an achievement. That's cool. Uh, I'm the, oh, I'm using the Wrangler. Okay, Wrangler replaces your pistol, but allows you to point where you want your Sentry to shoot so long as it can actually see that. Sentry going up. This is obviously a spy. Hey boys, it's a spy. And then a spy. I don't care about my sentry. I don't think that's right. He might not be dead, as he's not. Going 
he was using the dead ringer, which was a failure of death. Uh, and that can be useful to either get out of a situation easily. What's that? For? Oh, it's the camera. I don't know what that. Um... And I play medic differently than most people. I do not play as a medic that constantly stays with a heavy. I actually play a battle medic, which generally is a very offensive class, but also heals people. The trick being the metal medic is having a good balance of healing, and you should always build an uber at the beginning of a round because <laughs> that's where medics are probably most useful. But medics have a surprising amount of damage output. And it's also good to overheal every teammate you have, especially medics. Medics is the great to overheal. Because um, then they survive, and if they survive, your whole team survives. Uh, but every, every teammate, even spies, can, and snipers can use extra health. Snipers have extra health, that might be the difference between them getting killed, uh, like snipes and killed, and they might get a couple of kills, so it's always good to overheal everybody. And generally, I'm using the Crits Krieg, which doesn't make people invulnerable, but it makes people do triple the damage. So, I might want to uber charge a either a heavy or a soldier. Uh, but I'm going to actually hang back a little and wait to uber charge someone, because if, if we've got two uber charges ready, and the other two medics, there's no sense in me using mine right away. I'll just Back until... And it's also it's still good to give people over here. And he's dead. That's not good. Okay, I'll have to use the charge again. I'll give him more damage. Okay, I've also got the Blutzalga, which increase which um heals me every time I hit somebody but heals me very slowly passively, because medics heal health slowly anyway, but very slowly. I've also got the Ubersaw, which whenever I hit someone, I get 25% Uber Charge, which is good if you can hit people with it, because it helps you build new Charge much faster. Um, but now as you can see, I've, from hitting that Soldier and Sniper, I've got 50 Uber Charge extra, which is basically half the time it takes me to get an Uber. And the critical also heals people fast. Um, no, it doesn't heal people fast. It builds an Uber charge faster. So put all that together, and I build Uber fairly quickly. And that's fairly good to deal triple damage for eight seconds every now and then. We've, we've got uh, like several engineers trying to trying to get something going. What's that? Okay, I need to Uber charge somebody here. Now he's doing triple damage, and I die. Oh well, but interesting loadout is a medic with the crits with a um two two medics with medi guns and uber saws. One uber charges one, and if they get four hits, they build an uber charge. So then they can just keep switching round if so long as they can get four hits. So it can work out, but it's very risky because if you don't hit someone four times, then you can't really do anything. I'm playing with Huntsman, which is basically just completely different than Sniper Rifle. It requires generally less range. Um, probably more skill, but your arrows can be lit on fire to deal more damage, and also some people can fire from long distance. Which is very good. Also using the Durate, which can douse flames, and also makes people take mini critical damage. And also, if I still have my Durate, I could put all these people out, but probably should have saved it. You should always try and use Durate on at least three or so people for it to be worth it, and try and save it if there's a fire in it. But I'm kind of low on health, so I'm going to heal now. Um, I'm going to try and save my Durate in case that Pyro comes back. That was 
there earlier. Okay, there's another Huntsman Sniper over here. Um, okay, heavy guy, uh, my guy here. It, it, it can also be good, good against just a couple. Oh, okay, <laughs> that was a waste. It can also be good against a couple of enemies if if you're in a tight spot and it doesn't work 